What's up guys, and yes, I know, I know, where's the reviews? <coughs> I've been sick for the past week, so you have to forgive me on this. I, I've i been unable to do a lot of things. I mean, I've been barely managing to go to work last week. I haven't been able to do anything because of this damn stomach bug I've been having for the past week. So you, please forgive me. I'm even. I'm amazed I can even talk right now. But yeah, you see, as you can see right here, I got two packages. So yeah, funny story with my HLJ package right here. I had actually completely forgotten about this until my mom called me downstairs saying, "Hey, Chris, you got mail," and gave me this. All right, now before that, um, I did get some other things. One thing I'm not showing because. I'm not even going to be reviewing it. It was, was just personally for my collection. Then the other thing was this. I bought the complete box set. This is the Malaysian release of Card Captor Sakura. Uh, I mainly bought this because, well, me and the guys at Tokyo Anime News were talking about it for a while. I was like, you know what? I really want to rewatch this series because the only time I ever got a chance to watch it was the dub, uh, Card Captors, which, as some people may know, was faulted. It was good, but it suffered from typical American dubbing. Characters' names were Americanized, except for Sakura and whatnot. So I had to get it, just so I can watch the actual full series. Uh, I got it also because we might review it on Tokyo Anime News. Might. More than likely well, because Wheelchair 21 also likes the series. Yeah. So what did I get from HLJ? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting HLJ shrink wraps their, uh, their shipment also. Nothing special. I got the one, two... Uh, I got the super deformed uh, sh uh, strike Gundam. And the looks of things, I think... I might have... No, I don't. From the looks at the bottom, I thought I was going to have another entry into the Gundam Info Contest, but unfortunately I don't. Which surprises me, because it said on the form anything from Seed... It said on the website anything from Seed Double... Uh, from Seed Age or Unicorn would give you an entry. But yeah, I got that. And I got the super deformed full armored Gundam. This being based off more, I th think it's not the MSV. I think I don't know what this one's based on, but it's not what the full armored Master Grade was inevitably based off of. But yeah, the um, reason I got these was mainly to use as test beds for the paint job I'm going to use on the um, SD, not the SD, the uh, 1144 Beginnings Gundam. Mainly this is the one I'm going to use for the test bed on that paint color, on that paint scheme. The exact colors and almost to the exact places I'm going to be putting them. This, I have some ideas using the same paints but for a different color scheme. So that's those. I'm probably gonna get to. Sh I'll probably straight build them and not even fill in them or anything first and review them, then come back for the colors. Then there's this package. Now, unfortunately, what's in here I can't do anything with for another couple of days because the item I need for it it's not gonna get here till Tuesday. I mean Thursday. But what I got in here is something that's special and isn't going to get reviewed on my channel. It's I'm planning to review this for Toku Anime News. So you'll have to go check there if you want to see the review on that. And yes, it will be a video review, not a written review. Because we don't do written... We don't do written reviews for items. We do videos. I'm gonna have to just rip this first away. No, it was already done. What I got in here is, and it's opened. 
I got the Fans Project Protector Clear Armor. Oh yes. This guy even made up <laughs> This guy even made up a business card. Now you may be looking at for those who are not really initiated initiated to Transformers, you may be looking at these and going, hey, those colors are wrong. To those who don't know anything about Transformers, a purple Autobot symbol and a red Decepticon symbol isn't wrong. It's shattered glass colors. Go look up the shattered glasses if you don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be getting to probably sleeping again because that's basically what I've been doing on days I'm not working thanks to this damn bug. And yeah, I'll see you all at the next video, hopefully. Peace.